What's going on everyone? I hope everyone's doing well. This is Lima here from Chirpin' Feed. And on this video clip, I wanted to show you guys how we trim our parrot's feathers. Something very simple and yet effective. And I'll, I'll be explaining why. This gorgeous Jubilee is almost fully winged. It is available and for full details, visit our site, chirpinfeed.com. Here I'm just trying to show you that we're just going to be cutting the eight primary flight feathers. And that's, that's where we're going to be following that line from the primary converts. Those little feathers that are called primary converts. And we're going to be following that line. That's going to be our guide to be cutting the primary flight feathers. And I'll be showing you soon here. So here I am, and um, you guys can use any type of scissors. There's not really a special scissors for this. As long as it's sharp enough to cut, you'll be good to go. And again, I'm here just showing you, just gonna be counting eight, the eight primary feathers. That's all you need. And using the primary converse as our guide, that's how we know where we're gonna be cutting. Using those primary converts. That's our guide there. See me counting there, cause I think I lost count on that one. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel and um, show this to everyone. This is something simple, but yet very effective. And I do this to all my macaws. And um, remember these trimmings, you do need to trim your, your parrot's feathers at least two to three months. Every two to three months, you should be trimming your parrot's feathers tell you a little quick story of I forgot to trim one of mine's and uh, I had it inside the house when he just flew past the kitchen and at that time I had the door open beats me why I had the door open so it was it was my blue and gold which I still have he was in the kitchen, flies through the kitchen and goes straight to the door, which was open. He goes off and flies away. Well, to not bore you guys, at the end of the day, we did get our parrot back, but it took us three days. And I even missed work to, to go ahead and, and, and get our parrot back. It took us three days to, and we got it. It was in a very tall tree. But um, we end up getting it. So that's why trimming is very effective. I mean, you want to stick around with these guys. And this is the only effective way to do it. And, uh, and it prevents them from harmful falls. As well, I had a very bad experience. One of my uh, Indian ringnecks had a very bad fall. And it actually twisted one of the legs. I took it to the vet, everything was okay after, but you see how effective trimming is to avoid any escapes and any harmful falls that may happen. Has happened to me, you see me here? And this is me finishing up the full trim. Once I cut it off, he already knows. She already knows that she cannot fly. Birds are very intelligent. They, they already know. So that's it there, you see? 
It's very simple. And I'm gonna be showing you here. See how nice the feather cutting turned out to be. See, we just followed the, the primary converts and just took off the eight primary flight feathers. And that's it. So don't forget guys, share this video. Hopefully it was helpful. I do this to all of my calls. And I'll follow us on Instagram and check our site out. Chirpandfeed.com And again, if you have any questions, let us know. That's the final outcome there. Thanks again, guys, for watching.